A lot happened last time. Hoping this just leads back out somewhere convenient. Oh, here we are. It leads back out into Romero's place. If there was a door in the cemetery that led straight to Gary's place, why didn't we take that in the first place? Because <laughs> <laughs> then you would have been robbed of all the joy of going through those sewers for like an hour. So, we're back in Hollywood and there's a few things to do here still before we go on to Chinatown. So, and some of these are quests for the Nosferatu that we found last time. So, we have to help Mitnick set up a network in Hollywood. Oh, and I have to check my email to get instructions for that. Which I guess means going back to downtown since I don't have a Hollywood um, hangout yet. Haven. And then... Emalia wants us to plant cameras in Tawny's apartment in Hollywood. And we have to tell Isaac about defeating the Shemise... Shemisi? So... And we've got 12 points to spend. So I guess first, since we're here, we can check out that apartment building and see about planting those cameras. I can remember where they were. Also, there was that one building that I kept meaning to lockpick, and I just haven't gotten to that yet. I kept getting distracted by other things. Is this it? Is the hotel the apartment building? Doesn't seem like it would be. Doesn't seem like it would be, but I was able to use the key. Have we been in here yet? Nope. I was going to say, it didn't look familiar. Troika Games. Yellow Scab. Nice. And we're looking for, let's see... doesn't say which is hers, but we need to plant one camera in the bedroom, one in the bathroom, and one in the kitchen. Nine lives. Oh. Ash Rivers, the club guy. Seems like he maybe had a minor masquerade violation by surviving a car crash. <laughs> I wonder if that's supposed to be after we helped him get out of the uh, the club with the vampire hunters after him. Oh, well, I guess her apartment is actually the only one in this building. <laughs> the only room in this hotel? <laughs> that makes no sense. What even is this building? Ooh. I was about to say, she hasn't seen I, you yet. <laughs> I hope she's not home. <laughs> <laughs> you botched the setup for Amalia because you were noticed. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Rip. Well, um, sorry. It looks like it will still let me place the camera, but it already says I failed the quest. I don't know, like, didn't she say, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, so apparently this is a stealthy mission. Oh, I forgot. I um, am not supposed to do that. Okay, well. He's so scared. <laughs> You're gonna have to reload. Uh, yeah. Unless you just want to live with this. I don't know. Oh, he's just running and leaving her there. <laughs> well, with that double uh, string of double fantastic failures, I feel like just completely missing out on a whole quest is um, not preferable to just trying again. So I'm using my one... 
I'm using my one do over. <laughs> <laughs> the only one will do. Yep. Other than those ones we've already done. My only one. I don't know how you're going to sneak through there with two people in that place. I mean, it's not that big. The guy seemed to have, like, just be standing there in the corner with his gun pointed at the door. <laughs> so. <laughs> As we have run into a few times. It's common practice in LA, apparently. Well, I'm not doing anything else right now. Might as well point my gun at the door and just wait. <laughs> Maybe I should spend some of these points on sneaking. Sneak? What is your sneak at? It's at two. Ooh. Point in stealth yeah. is only three, and a point in dex is eight. Is it a good idea to level up my lowest scoring feat because it's cheap? And because I could definitely use more? Or should I focus the points on getting higher the stuff that's already kind of high-ish? I don't know what the what the good rule is for that. I mean, they make it easiest to just buy low ranks of a lot of things. Yeah. It seems like maybe having at least a decent score and everything isn't bad. Yeah. You just obviously you can't focus on everything. Cheap level up or the more expensive one that levels up two things. You know, I'm doing a point in deck since that also will help my lock picking. Yeah. Well, you could do one in each, actually, couldn't you? How did that just take a point away? I didn't realize you could do that. How did that... I'm clicking dex, and it's just taking a point away instead of adding one. And then I click it again, and it adds it back. It's refunding four points to remove the rank of dex. I've got enough points. I have 12, and it needs eight. So why, when I click it, is it just giving me the four points for rank one back? I didn't know you could refund points at all. There was that dex penalty, right, from wearing the wrong clothes? But I'm not wearing... Well, that would... Oh, I am... I can't imagine. That... Why would that have anything to do with this, though? It shouldn't. I'm just thinking, like, this is the only thing that I can think of that's affecting my dex, and dex is the thing that's acting weird. What if I put my sneaky uh, clothes back on? You think it's a bug? That's the rank it would normally be. Yeah. Um, without the clothes that are applying a penalty. True, true. So now I can get the third rank. Ah, uh, okay, so it's a bug. Wow, good thinking. That wouldn't have even occurred to me. Now, let's try that again. See, we were wearing the swooshy pants, and... <laughs> they heard us swooshing. I'll just save it again. So what's your sneaking at now? Well, now, with a level up and the right pants on, it's at four. <laughs> I mean, it's double what it was. I could even get it up to five with a rank in stealth. Yeah. Well, you might want to. I don't know. You try it first, though. I will want to get firearms and dodge both up a little higher at some point soon, I guess. Yeah. Um, my auspex probably doesn't go far enough. No. It only goes like five feet. I don't really know what to try. <laughs> this is kind of like that... Um, uh, museum part where it's like if you're not a Nosferatu who can go invisible then, yeah. then what do you do? Because <laughs> I think she's just I think she's just looking yeah my stealth meter is at 98 which I think means yeah well ideally they have some pathing where they kind of walk around in the apartment and maybe you can you know, sneak by when she's walking somewhere else. She did just approach the doorway. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a higher auspex would be useful. She's not looking right at the doorway now. But... Yeah. I heard something. Hey, stop right there! No. <laughs> and as promised, this is the only reload... 
Yep, we just used the only one. So, I was really hoping there would at least be maybe like a ceiling vent or something. There's got to be something. Unless I just pay attention to the number on the stealth meter and use that as an indicator. Ooh. Progress. Save. A new save. <laughs> Take a few steps. Make a new save. Yeah. Where'd she go? I would eternal mausoleum oh. after her death in 1964. Nothing was stolen from the crypt, but estimates put the damage okay, well, there's the guy. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest oh, the shit. wave of violent video games. <laughs> Senator Limperman called the game's pornography. I can't. Offended by crude shots I can't make it over there because he's. Game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing. Protesters saying that <laughs> What is happening on that TV <laughs> news report? Do I have to wait for him to get up? He'll probably get up, yeah. And hope she, that she stays in the kitchen long enough? Oh. bathroom huh? this is uh, going better than I thought it was going to I, I think it's just one more yet to do over there someone there? Hey, who's there someone there? Huh? is someone huh? there <laughs> holy he shit. still doesn't see you <laughs> I'm just gonna chalk this up to I being a vampire him. I lost him oh my <laughs> god <laughs> lost him yeah <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Flawless execution. Amazing. Didn't even have to reload a single time. It was perfect. Nope. First time. First time. Now I have to find her computer and log in. Uh -oh. oh, here it is. Quick, quick, quick. Camera. Cleopatra. Cam check. Okay, let's go. Um, New save. <laughs> <laughs> flawless. Uh oh, he's coming. Oh shit. Oh no. Huh? Where's she? Probably she's still right there. At the wall. Oh, <laughs> she's right there. Run Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. What is this building? We actually did a stealth so, mission correctly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And all it took was no reloads at all. Yep. Doubling Doubling my sneaking probably helped. Yeah, I don't think that was bad. I mean, at least you have a, like, average sneak now instead of a bad yeah, one. I don't Plus know you if... you got an extra lockpick, so... I don't know if him looking practically right at me as I'm crouched there next to the bed <laughs> yeah. would have gone well without those extra two ranks in sneak. Right. Oof. Okay, Isaac. Evening. There was a Shemisi at King's Way. But I killed it. An impressive achievement, young Toreador. Someone of your character doesn't come in here every night. I'd like to give you something. Ooh. It's not much. Just my way of letting you know that the barony of Hollywood appreciates your service. I'm glad to see the blood of my clan has found its way into the right people. Hopefully you won't spill it foolishly in some pointless display of fealty for that damn LaCroix. Come by in a little while. <laughs> I should have something for you then. Yeah, so he's a Toreador. Yeah. He's an Anarch, not a member of the Camarilla. Yeah, what a twist. 
Another what fellow Toreador. And he has to get it ready for me, this this thing, this gift. I wonder what that could be. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he has at least one other quest for you, so maybe if you can get out of this dialogue and talk to him again, maybe he'll have something else. Hello again, Isaac. Evening. Anything Try the else first one, anything. I can do? Yeah. There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Ah, uh, yep. I can see that's got your attention. Hmm. Tell me about it. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. Oh. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. Interesting, interesting. How do you deal with a gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key. Oh, for you the might theater. be able to convince it. I'll leave mm. it up to you. I'll that see is what more I can up do. your alley. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. I'm just wondering if six persuasion will be enough to convince a gargoyle. Or if there's some string of correct dialogue choices I have to make. You know, I think you have several quests coming along in your email, actually. So before you go much further, you might want to uh, go and check on that. Okay. Because I think at least one of them you can maybe do at the same time. I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can go back to my haven and my hideout in downtown and check my email. Because that's where I need to go anyway to follow up with Mitnick. Oh, true, true. And then hopefully I'll be able to do both of those quests, like turn both of those quests back in at the lair at the same time. So where was my apartment building again? Oh, Heather. You finally, oh, she finally listened. followed yeah. instructions. <laughs> Changed your whole style. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Master, just a few drops. Oh, sure, you can have a little. Thank you. Well, yeah, I don't... I don't think it's good to just kick a ghoul out so. at that point. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Of course. I wonder if that guy that she supposedly brought back is actually there now. No. I Yeah, mm. what happened to that? Heather must that have eaten weird. him. <laughs> yes. Fridge. Oh, There's nice. blood in the fridge. I'll take it. Oh man, what's my password? Can I hack my own computer? Repaid favors. Stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up. Oh, oh Mercurio. Right. Yeah. Don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport that's sweeping the nation is now a, on a limited edition DVD. Watch superstars Iron Will McMahon, Brock Dryhands Hines, and Margarine Mike Davenport as they use every bit of restraint in their body to not touch the butter. One bowl of butter, two contestants, <laughs> three judges, and a hell of a lot of willpower. Okay. Mm. I'd watch... Business in Hollywood. Oh, I wonder if this was here as soon as we arrived um, in Hollywood. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. Oh, I couldn't actually go in there last time. I've made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him there and make sure the review is unfavorable. Okay. S.L. What's his first name? Sebastian. Oh. 
Next. The what cost. was your guess going to be? <laughs> uh, Sammy? I don't know. Steve? <laughs> <laughs> the cost of an attack is often paid later. From a friend. Which attack? I've killed so many people tonight. Yeah, zombies, vampires, weird faces with arms. Mitnick here. Oh, here it is. I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica in an old place called Megahertz Computing. I'll oh. send another email with recon. Power up the terminal, find the net security folder, and run the ShrekNet command. The password on the folder is Gil Bates. Don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. Okay. Hmm. Back to Santa Monica. And the second street. Okay. Through the back door. Right, 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 right. I'm leaving you a key for the door in your mailbox. Okay. Prince is promoting you from Gary. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today, came across something that might tickle you. A kid used to live here, had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vo v Vermin? Vorman? Vorman, yeah. I got a touch of nostalgia, so you find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me. I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Ooh. <laughs> Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Yeah, so this is like a chain of quests where you find things for him and he sends you like pinup posters of various <laughs> female vampires. <laughs> and for they somebody, just end up like on the walls of your, uh, your haven here. <laughs> for somebody who hates vanity, it's an odd thing for Gary to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a copy of a tape. We have to convince food critic Tommy Flayton to give the Capaletti Cafe a bad review. We have to go to Santa Monica to Megahertz Computing, find the net security folder, run ShrekNet, and enter the password. So back in Hollywood and back to Santa Monica. Yeah, it seems like other vampires are out there using their ghouls as, like, their agents, and we just have Heather sitting here <laughs> in our apartment. <laughs> well, I mean... To, to be fair, I guess she did kidnap somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to know what goes on in this, like, oops, <laughs> oh shit. How do I cancel a power? Uh... Too late. I'll look that up real quick, because that seems useful. Oh, well. F8. <laughs> All right. Noted. <laughs> Gotta love these older games. Why on earth would F8 cancel a power? Make sure you don't accidentally uh, right-click the mouse in the wrong place. <laughs> Going yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> does it count if you, just, if you activate it, but you just stand there and don't move? Well... I was standing there and not moving and it still counted, but it did yeah. wait it did wait a few seconds before it counted as a violation, so I think if I had cancelled it quickly enough. Right. Maybe it would have been okay. Okay, Lovely we evening. finally get to go into megahertz. It was right next to asylum, I think, down one of these alleys. Ah, uh, just checking in. <laughs> Still looking at this wall. There's the blood bank. Oh, here it is. God damn it. He left the key in my mailbox. <laughs> but I have a mailbox here, too, right? Yeah, I can go to any of them. Ah, uh, well, I guess it matters. Okay, back to downtown. <laughs> Megahertz access card. Left home without the keys. I wonder if so-and-so has more money for me. Oh, yeah. 
you've probably you would have been able to pick it up several times i would imagine oh what is this shit excuse me <laughs> money right been a while your money's been piling up hey yeah, that should provide for an interesting evening thanks Six hundred twenty-five. There was the fancy revolver from the convenience Lovely store, evening. or the automatic shotgun, and maybe the flamethrower. Yeah, Mercurio. Mercurio has sixteen hundred forty-two. I am the undead Rockefeller. <laughs> With sixteen hundred dollars, huh? You know this whole World of Darkness setting, and the RPG and everything. What's the hops, bro? The universe itself in the RPG, like, is a set of lore, right, and game systems and whatnot. But this very unique style, with all the, you know, the flair of, you know, the, just the way it's written and the touch of humor and everything, is something that this studio constructed their yeah. Vampire: The Masquerade game around. Like, like could... those more recent uh, visual novels set in this universe on Steam, I don't think they're like this at all. Yeah. Like the humor and stuff. Like you could uh, very could easily wrong, but... have extremely different tones of totally. stories. And you know what's yeah. interesting? I saw something online the other day that uh, the place that owns the rights to this, there's some kind of program they have going on where like anyone can uh make a game in this setting like using the uh the character creation rules and stuff mm. uh, of course there's some like long licensing thing i'm sure you end up paying them quite a bit of money but it sounded like you could make a game in this universe if you wanted nice that's kind of interesting yeah i wonder how many like small uh indie places or startups or even just like random groups of people online are trying to do that right now yeah especially with bloodlines 2 looking uh i mean i don't want to judge it before it comes out you right know, but yeah just from what we've seen it doesn't look like it's gonna hit this same uh feeling i guess which i wonder how much of the love of this game is the is unique to this game and the way they chose to write it versus the universe itself versus the it... lore i mean the lore is still pretty cool like i'm gonna flip this uh fuse box thing and just see what happens well it's brighter now difficulty eight well i can blood buff that <laughs> I don't really know why I crawled through the vent there. <laughs> oh, because it this computer wouldn't be on if I hadn't crawled through the vent to unlock the... Oh, turned the power on, yeah. Although I guess the only point of that blood buff was so that I didn't have to crawl back through the ducts again to go back around the long way. Yeah, you'll want to get some blood pretty soon, although with that chalice refilling all the time, that's less important, I guess. Shreknet. <laughs> My cousin and me, we uh, rode our bikes to see Shrek, the first one. <laughs> um, every day, like well, like three days in a row. Just rode our bikes into the into town to see Shrek. Those were the days. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yep, when Shrek one was fresh in theaters i saw something online the other day that was like politics aside here's the real important comparison between u.s presidents and it was like how many shrek movies released during their presidency <laughs> it was like comparing the the past several <laughs> we activated the santa monica hub so then we have to check our email again for new instructions. Okay. 
we gotta check in with Mercurio before we leave Santa Monica. And he better have a flamethrower <laughs> at this point. I still wish we could have used a tactical nuke on that Sumichi mansion. <laughs> the place was gross. Ah, uh, you're okay. Still blood everywhere. Anything I can do for you tonight? Need some equipment. Uh, I don't see a flamethrower <laughs> unless... I assume that's the shotgun at the bottom, right? Rifle rounds... Yeah, this is the automatic shotgun. Well, the wiki says there is one in the game. Well, I'll give you some more time, Mercurio. Anything I can do for you tonight? So, let's see. I did get a couple of XP for that. Um, I don't have enough for firearms or dodge. So, I guess we hold on to that for now. Oh, I need to check my email to see if he has anything new for me. And we have to go to Hollywood to check on that cafe. That's my kind of quest. Go to a yes. fancy cafe and convince somebody to leave a bad review. <laughs> yeah. That is not the kind of quest I thought that this game was going to have. <laughs> that was weird. Everybody was just standing perfectly still. Yeah. Hop in. Yeah, I think doing this again as a Nosferatu would be really cool. Yeah, you think you'll ever play it again? Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see if the impact of various choices, like, propagates at all, or um, how much it actually changes things. Um, also, just fundamentally different way to play, having to sneak around everywhere, and but having invisibility powers. Second network hub. Basement of the Nocturne Theater downtown. So we finally get to go in there. No one can know you were there. Stay out of sight. No killing. Ugh. Again. Again with this. <laughs> I need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activated, log into the net security folder. Password break a leg. Okay. Nocturne Theater is downtown, across from the Empire Arms Hotel. I couldn't get a key to the front door, so you'll have to enter through the sewers. Okay. Camera. I put the camera down in your mailbox. I had an operative scope out the joint beforehand, and he marked the best place for the camera with a red X. Find it, it's probably someplace high, and mount the camera. Once you've put it in place, log into the terminal downstairs, find the camera folder, and activate netcam. You won't be able to activate the hub until the camera's in place. See you, Heather. Or Hannah, or whatever your name is. <laughs> it's Heather. Nocturne Theater. Find camera. Go to basement. Don't kill anyone. Don't be seen. Oh, and it's... It's right here. But we have to go in through the sewer. Uh, didn't that alley down there just have a guy who was alone? You could get some blood from him. This one? Yeah, there was a guy in purple, I thought, down here. He just left. Maybe I'm making it up. Oh, it's, yeah, it was that guy who's walking away. But, I mean, that guy will work too. better to get that guy in purple who was walking away, I guess. I guess I didn't help at all. Ugh. I don't think I'll take yours either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this water. Yep. Is the best. 
So good. Let's see. Sewer access map. That's helpful. Three is Nocturne Theater. I'm looking for B. Well, that means I'm... Oh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> you should probably stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't be seen. Don't kill anybody. I'm wearing my sneaky clothes. And I'm supposed to find a camera. There's people in here. I guess that we knew that, because it would not bother telling me not to kill anyone and not be caught if there wasn't going to be anyone here. Ooh. Oh, lots of people. It's the museum all over again. Okay, the stealth meter is zero. These guards just patrolling the, uh, ooh. Hey, hold it. So just one thing to keep in mind as we go through this theater is that it's going to be one try. Um, and we, ha we have <laughs> yeah. to get the stealth right. We will not reload. <laughs> you know, they went through the trouble of adding that physics system where you can throw things and make it so people will be attracted to that, but there's, like, never anything around for you to throw. Yeah. <laughs> someone there there's a ladder uh... okay we go up here okay we sneak through the rafters this is the way <laughs> although I know it said that I'm actually looking for something down in the basement. This is very Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> yeah, <Isn't it? laughs> true. Skulking through the roof of a theater. Oh, here we go. Big red X. Um, the E button doesn't work. Pressing E many times. Was I, do I not have the camera that I'm supposed to place? God. Is that in your mailbox? Damn it. Oh, it's in your mailbox. Uh. Now that we have the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. I just left on the last thing. I left the key that he left me in the mailbox. <laughs> Blame it on uh, recording this after midnight. <laughs> and then hopefully finding the computer won't be too bad. Don't remember where he said that was. I guess that's the that's the thing that was in the basement. There we go. Activate it through the network terminal, which is in the basement of the theater. That's probably that door on the opposite end that the other guard was coming out of. I probably have to wait for him to come out. Okay, we go down. Oh, okay. That was uh, in in my defense. 
the the way that you're supposed to go down the ladder <laughs> is not at yeah. all clear. <laughs> yep, it's really weird. Like, do I press backwards when I'm facing this way? <laughs> or do I press forwards when I'm facing this way? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you just crawl forward. <laughs> Head first down the ladder. Oh. No, I actually have no idea. He doesn't give me a lot of time. Especially with that one also looking in the wrong direction. I wonder if it's safe to go down and then just stand up. Now he'd probably see me. If I was just standing to the side of the door and wait for him to walk past. See, he barely, yeah, he, there's like no time. How is that supposed to work? Ooh, fuck. This is not going to work. Ooh. What if I'm, oh. Never mind. I didn't it's, see you perched it's, up there on the ladder. It's actually fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out here in plain sight. He's looking right at me. Oh, okay. So distance is more important than actual like line of sight, I guess. Which means it's okay to drop down as soon as he comes out that way because that one just won't see me anyway. Sounds like they're chasing you almost, doesn't it? It sounds like his his pathing changed once I got back here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well there's no computer in here. This was just a temporary oh, wait, save. temporary <laughs> hideout. Yeah. <laughs> Are you new to saves coming? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> gotta do a, gotta do a new one every time you <laughs> Make some progress. I am new to having to manually save every 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, that's just how I game. <laughs> I'm used to from software games where it's like real time saving. True. Where there's, <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no turning back. <laughs> oh man, he's like. He's following me down the hall for sure. Yeah. Why didn't they just let you do non-lethal takedowns in this game? <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, that door scared me for a second. Thought someone was coming through. Net security. Oh, damn it. Um... Break a leg. Break a leg. Break a leg. Con... Wait, Shreknet isn't in here. He wanted me to log into the net security folder and run Shreknet. But there's only one command. So I guess I'll run it. Oh. Camera, net cam, net security. Yeah, okay, you were right. <laughs> Never mind, there was nothing suspicious after all. <laughs> You're a regular James Bond. Ah, I know. Check your email soon. Got it. Now we get out of here. There was an exit door, though, like right next to me. Hopefully it's functional. Oh, he's coming. Hopefully he doesn't see the door opening and closing repeatedly right in front of him. <laughs> right in front of him, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Let me out. <laughs> it's a false door. What am I supposed to do about this? I really, I really need to sneak back out over to the sewer side. I don't think I saw any more grates. Well, you've completed the quest now, and Mitnick was happy. Maybe you can just kill them all. And... <laughs> I don't know that that would work that way. <laughs> Let me try... What if I just walk behind him and climb up the ladder as soon as he leaves? Assuming he does yeah. actually go out. Okay, now he's over there. And now he's back here. Now he's out here. And now I'm up here. Just like James Bond. <laughs> Yeah, all that stuff about having no idea how to get out. Um, I guess it was really pretty straightforward. Except that this light is blocking my path to get onto the ladder. <laughs> and see if this works. Oop. <laughs> In and out. <laughs> Just like James Bond. <laughs> With no reloads. If I, like, somehow lose the game because I right-click on Celerity too many times in public, I mean, it only has to happen five times. True. I think you're at full masquerade right now, aren't you? Oh, I thought I was down one. Mm. I'm down one. Yeah, LaCroix is just like, can you stop <laughs> zooming up and down Main Street, please? <laughs> I stood perfectly still. <laughs> I just stood still very quickly, and it was suspicious. Yeah. You were just <laughs> vibrating in place. <laughs> hey, Heather. Hannah, whatever your name is. <laughs> it's Heather. <laughs> One new email. The third hub. Not a lot of time right now. Gotta make this quick. Metalhead Industries Hollywood warehouse operation. The key is in your mailbox. Stop by the mailbox first. Set up the hub. The terminal is in operations, back of the warehouse, top of some stairs. Probably locked electronically. Work the problem. They're gonna have tight security, but you gotta keep it dark. They can't know you were there. Same drill. See ya. Okay. So this will be even more difficult, probably. Sounds like some hacking will be called for. I don't know that my hacking is um, quite up to the task. I hope Heather is feeding your fish every day. <laughs> it seems like the least she could do. Right. <laughs> Mercuria is out there, like, doing you know, weapons deals and getting his guts ripped out and Heather right. just sitting, sitting there in goth <laughs> clothes it's watching like, well, the fish tank. Well, I brought a guy home for you to feed on. <laughs> Nobody asked you He's, to do that, Heather. He... That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> also, she might have just imagined it because he was not there. <laughs> no, I mean, that is a thing that happens. Uh, I don't know why he wasn't there. Uh, too bad. Alright. 
we're going back to Hollywood. Maybe we can take care of this third network hub. Uh, try to take care of this gargoyle in the Asian theater. Oh, uh, you should have fed on Heather while you were there. Oh. <laughs> going somewhere? Hollywood. I mean, will that... Does that work the same way as feeding on anyone else? Yeah. Like, if I don't stop in time, I'll just kill her? Yep. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Metalhead. Oh yeah, the Iron Giant thing. Where was the... Oh. Literally, I was right in front of it. Okay, in and out. Ooh. And we are right into it. Yeah. Where am I? A, a half decent Auspex would have been really useful for all these <laughs> stealth missions, I guess. Yeah. Metalhead Industries. The terminal is in operations, which is on the second floor. Very important that we're not seen and don't kill anyone. How do we get to the second floor with so many people milling around? so close. That last one, I'm not sure... I'm not sure um, what I needed to do for that one, actually. Oh, because he's just standing there staring right where I need to go. Shit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> All Was right. Is there a key in your mailbox you're supposed to get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. You see nothing? Okay, I guess that other door that was midway through probably has a key inside it. The key that I got lets me into um, the building. Into yeah. the building. That door is probably the one I need first. Oh, who camera? Oh, right, it did say that probably some electronic um, security was going to be a problem. Operations. Uh... <laughs> right. <laughs> unlock. Door unlocked. Rock on! <laughs> Okay. Halfway there. We successfully stealthed Tawny's apartment. We stealthed the theater. We can do this one. We can redeem ourselves from all of the failed stealth missions. Oh. That guy's head clipped through the door. 
<laughs> it's pretty hard to tell. Ooh. <laughs> How does, um, like a, a Bruja even do any of these missions? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they could still have a high stealth, I guess, if they wanted to do that. But maybe they're just... I don't know, maybe they just don't do them. Let me in! <laughs> Oh my god. Celerity and doors do not play nice together. <laughs> Is there anything in that cabinet you can get? It looks uh, interesting. I think I have to unlock it at the computer. Oh, okay. Safe. Hmm. Yeah, of course there is. I can't hack it. Difficulty eight. Oh. There's no way. Damn. There's probably something really good in there. Probably is. I don't think eight points is enough to get four more hacking skill. <laughs> I could get one more. <laughs> oh well. I don't know. Maybe if I level it up a few times and come back later. Come back. Yeah, I don't know if it'll let you come back because remember you tried going back to that house on the beach. Oh, that's true. Money and it that's wouldn't true. Let you. Oh, what was it this time? He doesn't say. Activate the terminal. The terminal is in operations. Don't kill anyone. Does that mean I can't complete this without better hacking? Is the password on a sticky note anywhere? I wonder if it might have been in that other room. Hmm. Do you have a save from when you were still back in that room? I do, yeah. You could save one here and then load up that old one and just check <laughs> that room real quick. <laughs> this is basically we'll time do it. travel. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice thing about this is that we're doing this mission without reloading at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. You can't actually see where he is on the camera. That's wow. handy. Interesting. Yeah, unless this says what the... What was it? Cod piece? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that um, only unlocks the door and not the safe. And it doesn't seem to say anything else. Anyway, a uh, minor distraction there, but we've been in this room the whole time. We definitely um, didn't time travel at all. I wonder if it's, like, somewhere in this warehouse. It doesn't look like I can actually climb up there. So I don't know where else I would look, actually. It's just really hard to actually look around at all when moving is so extremely precarious. <laughs> Maybe you are supposed to be able to jump up on top of these crates and there's something up there? Hey, right there. What if I just run around like crazy looking for... told me get into the terminal and just you know deal with the security that you encounter it seems like it was an oversight that Midnick didn't tell you what it is I mean I understand not having the uh, the safe one on there like you need to hack that one but yeah 
Oh, it just says hacking for these. Really? Yeah. You can't do this mission unless you're a hacker? Well, huh. in that case, we can cheat then because I assume the uh, the good people of YouTube want to see the content. They want to see the <laughs> mission. So. I mean, yeah, if you can't do this unless... Yeah, this entire quest can't be done unless you level up hacking to 8 or whatever it was. Or I guess it was 6. I, six. Think, I think the safe was 8. Well, plus you can... Uh, oh, blood buff doesn't help with hacking, does no, it? No, I don't think so. What does hacking require? Wits and computer. Does Auspex give you wits? I feel like we had this conversation uh, before. It, it does. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. So... Actually, yeah, I could use Auspex, level up hacking once. I mean, it, it feels silly to level up a stat again just to be able to do a quest, but it really seems like it's impossible to do this without having a high enough it's, hacking. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like it'll be worthless either. I mean, there's yeah. so many computers you've come across. But uh, which one is cheaper for leveling well, hacking? Well, computer is only six, but wits increases hacking and defense, and it's only two more points, so that's really like getting a point in defense for only two points. Uh, uh, nice, nice. Yeah. So, I think that's probably good. Yeah. I don't Boom. think that's a waste. Point in wits. And then we can use Auspex. Okay, we had a way. We had a way. Auspex. Go! Oops. Uh, go! Uh, net security. Se hurry! Hurry! Heck, Control C. Bang your head. Got it. Shrek net. I'm impressed. Now get out quietly. I'll send you an email soon. Okay, it wasn't an oversight that he didn't tell us the password. He was just waiting for us to impress him. Yeah. So close, though. We can get our hacking to six, but not eight. I'm going to look up what's in that safe. I have to know. Auspex 5 would get us all the way there. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we'll never find out what's in this safe. At least my character won't. I gotta know what I missed out on. Gotta wait for this guy to finish smoking and walk back over to the other side so I can leave. Yeah, that safe probably had, like, tons of money or, like, a really cool weapon. I'd better save. Uh, nope. It unlocks a CD-ROM you can give to Gary in exchange for a poster of Damsel for your haven. Oh. That is lame. Damsel's the worst, anyway. Yeah, I'm not a fan of her. I'm just going for it. Let's see what happens. Whew. I can't believe you need Hacking 8 just to get a CD to trade for a poster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good thing Celerity was removed automatically when I zoned. Otherwise, that would have been an immediate masquerade violation. <laughs> you come zooming out the door <laughs> at a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> All right. Back to email. Wow, we've got so much to do. Yeah, so many things to do we in ready Hollywood. To go to, yeah, we thought we were ready to go to Chinatown. There's so much to do. But we will have to follow up with this next time and see what becomes of uh, Tawny and also the Cavaletti Cafe and checking back in about this network 
because I have a feeling the next one, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to just send us off again to probably another hub in Chinatown. So, I thought we were pretty much done in Hollywood and about to go to Chinatown, and we have plenty more to do, so that's cool. Uh, definitely will take all the extra XP as well, so I'm not sure how, like, if you were to, <laughs> by the time I get to the end, how my character sheet is going to look in terms of like how well balanced it is and how, right. I don't know, how correctly <laughs> the points were spent. <laughs> yeah. But, but I like it. I like um, the, the blind, you know, just doing my best and, <laughs> and just seeing how it goes some of these were it's probably working so far yeah some of these were probably you know not the best idea but we we learn we live with it i think At it's worked out have celerity five yeah, yeah. <laughs> if all else fails we have punchies and celerity five so <laughs> it's gotten us through the game so far yep our starting weapon that is the fists and <laughs> celerity five i'm gonna make sure the last hit on the last boss of the game is with my fists under the influence of celerity <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know if next time we'll get to chinatown either there's still plenty to do um i think right so we'll see so thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time for episode 15. See you then. See ya.